how to use bulk processing. I can develop the RDRS system to be able to quickly and easily process multiple requests at a time. This is known as bulk processing. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the bulk processing function within RDRS. On your main dashboard, in the RDRS persona and pending list view dropdown, look to the left of the request ID column. Next to each pending request, you'll see a checkbox. Clicking this checkbox allows you to select multiple requests to process at the same time. Select the pending request you like to process. Then, once you've selected all your pending requests, click on the bulk update button in the top right corner of the screen to begin the bulk processing procedure. You'll soon find yourself on a new screen. This is the bulk editing page. All the requests you see on this screen will reflect the selections you've made on the dashboard. Look down each request line. As you look, you'll see areas with checkboxes or drop-down menus. These areas are editable. You're able to change the request data, public availability, response date, denial reasons, and denial explanation. Clicking into each of these checkboxes or drop-down menus will open up a small window similar in layout to the main window where processing a request one by one. For example, if you want to update a request response date, a calendar will pop up allowing you to select a date and time from the calendar or manually type in a date and time. Or say you want to update what data you're choosing to disclose to the requester. If you click into this drop-down menu, a small box will appear allowing you to select or check off the information you have disclosed. If you decide to deny any new or additional information, the Denial Reasons menu will prompt you to select your reason from the list provided. In some cases, you will be required to provide a more specific denial explanation. In those cases, you'll be given a text area in which to enter your response. Once you've entered all of your updates, double check to make sure this information is accurate and correct. When you feel ready to do so, click on the bulk log response icon in the top right corner of the screen to submit your updates. After you do this, the RDRS system will save your changes and automatically send out any emails to parties associated with the request. Additionally, the system will send out emails to the parties that signed up to receive email notifications on their request. These emails include expedited submissions, a daily activity report reviewing any newly submitted requests or updates over the past day, and a monthly aging report which recaps requests that have been in pending status for more than 30 days. This concludes our training on how to use the system as a registrar, as well as the bulk processing function with the RDRS. We hope this video was helpful in showing you how to navigate the platform. If you have any questions or concerns, please email globalsupport at ican.org.